Some people was reaping what they sow. You know what I mean? Y'all, y'all, y'all put that negative energy out there. You know what I mean? Trying to slow us down. And look what happened. You know what I mean? Um, what y'all doing end up slowing down. You know right. what I'm saying? So that's why I say that. Yeah, man. You know what I mean? So, um. I say, hot, man, hot summer. Yeah, man. Um, thank y'all for, for, all, for all our success. Thank y'all for, um, for, for really, really rocking and rolling with us. Through all of it. You know what I mean? And, but, and, and. And like I keep saying, I mean, y'all the reasons why we can't be stopped, even though people are trying to do a lot of stuff behind the scenes, man. Thank y'all. You know what I mean? To y'all and to the people that was out there. Oh, yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? So to all the potters, man, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, extend your vacations out, man. It's going to be a part of summer. Yeah, you know I mean? And just enjoy the time with your family and friends. We see y'all in the wintertime. You know what I mean? The springtime. Lock in. But let's get to the... Uh, <laughs> Good to the podcast the way we get to the podcast. How was your how was your how was your day? How was your, how was your week? How was your weekend, man? Yo, man. I, <laughs> yo, everything was lovely, man. I like to thank everybody for the success that we had last week. Um Ern told me our episodes did very, very, very well, man. Um the numbers probably be higher than they are right now. Right now he told me the uh Tuesday episode uh, part one. That's at almost, that's going on 2 million. And the one we dropped on Friday, part two, is going on 1 million. Now, I mean, them joints probably be over 2 million and 1 million by the time this one come out this week. But just thank y'all, man. I mean, thank y'all for all the success that we having, man. I mean that, man. Because, man, if y'all knew a half of the, of the, of the, of the, of the nonsense and, and, and the BS that people trying to do to us behind the scenes and all that, man. Now, I mean, I don't want to. I mean, I don't really want to harp on it no more, man. But because, like I said, it ain't it ain't stopping me no way. It's just kind of like it's kind of like surprising to me, which in a way I I shouldn't have been surprised. Cause I kind of seen that, like I said, when I first got got into like started getting into real estate, I started seeing how people was. You now I mean, how people would treat other people and all that, go behind their backs, how stab their back and deals and all that. So I don't know why I thought because I you know what I mean I I, I just thought like all right. I was kind of like, for a minute, I was kind of believing the whole, all us black people need to stick together and all that. That's how I thought it was going to be with this, but I clearly see, and this is not, you know what I mean? It's the whole, yeah, um, fake and phony. We all need to stick together and, you know, black people need to do, you know what I mean? We need to work together. We need to do this and that. And then a whole bunch of nonsense going on. But like I said, man, for, you know I mean? forget all that, man, because that's not even affecting us, you know what I mean? And I know it's kind of like, Driving some people crazy, like I said. Um, some of y'all, like I said, I'm not, I'm not happy, but y'all reaping what y'all sow right now. I don't wish bad on nobody, but a lot of y'all just reaping what they sow. You know what I'm saying? So now, like I said, our our numbers continue to go up because of y'all. Y'all, not I me. Mean, thank y'all. And some of y'all is capped out of y'all. Not I me. Mean, people numbers is slowing down and all that. Like I said, they put that, they put that negative energy out. So that's what they got in return. They got negative energy in return. But um, yeah. yeah, yeah. So that's why we say that. We don't say that to be arrogant, none of that. But it's it was it's really people in here really trying to do whatever they can to stop us, slow us down, you know. Not not I mean this and that, but um, they can't. So those are people that we talk to when we say that. You know what I mean? So to all y'all that's just that, that's just starting out, trying to do y'all podcast, y'all content creation, man, just start, just start. We live in proof that you can just start. You right. know I mean? You don't got to be no celebrity at all already. You don't got to have half a million Instagram people on Instagram, million people on Instagram. You don't. You don't. So, you know what I mean? So, just start. Right. Now, like I said, it don't it, it don't matter if you starting in the house. It don't matter if you're doing videos sitting in your car. Just start. 
So that's all with that, man. But um, since y'all, you know what I mean, like what we did last week, man, and y'all was asking for, you know what I mean, people saying they can't wait for part three, might as well just continue on with it, man. <laughs> yeah. Um, Y'all really enjoy it, you know what I'm saying? So um, I've been hearing that y'all like the, uh, a lot of y'all can relate to the story that I told on Friday. <laughs> Crazy wow. that story is. It's crazy as a lot of y'all say that y'all can relate to that. And, um, yeah, man. Like I said, wherever she at, I hope she alive and well. Shoot, I was thinking about maybe not. If, if, I, if I can find somebody that still know her, still in contact with, I might be able to get her on the show I'm thinking about. Yeah, that'd be a wild time. Yeah, you know what I mean? I don't know. You know what I mean? Who knows? She might be probably like, well, say, well, that was years ago, and I don't even want to talk about stuff like that no more. But, you know what I mean? Uh... Yeah, I think I'm gonna reach out and see if I can get, if I could find her. You know what I'm saying? If I could find her and, and see if we could talk about that. And just, just, and just, I mean, not just that, whatever's going on in her life now and all this and that. You know, you know what I mean? So, but, um, yeah, man. Mom, you know what I mean? We just said we're just gonna do part three. I feel you. Why not? I feel you. You know what I mean? Y'all enjoyed the first two. Yeah, yeah. So, like I said, man, I'm, I mean, um, well, I'm saying, like I said, I said to y'all, I said to her, I mean, I mean, but before we start recording, um, we getting on your guys too. Now we got on your guys a little bit last week, but we gonna get on the guys too. It ain't just y'all; it's just crazy. It's all y'all crazy. Yeah, you know what I mean. So, so don't sit here and thank you. Yeah, he about to go in on these chicks again for Bernard. I'm going going in on everybody. Yeah, you know what I'm saying me 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 included too. So I didn't I I didn't did some stupid nonsense. You know what I mean? For one, let me say. If I didn't already say, we finally got the we finally got the Patreon going. Up and up and active. Now I'm saying, so y'all gonna pay now, now I mean the Patreon. My Patreon is ISO versus the world, yes, right? Sir. ISO versus the world. Now what I mean, um, it's five dollars. Like I said, ISO versus the world, now I mean what we originally tried to do when we ran into the roadblocks and all that. We kind of like I said, we started to get around that and get that stuff out the way. So now our Patreon, my Patreon is up and running. ISO versus the world, and that's where my podcast, ISO versus the world, is 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 gonna be at. So we're gonna start doing that. Now I mean it's active now. So I said five dollars, because five dollars is the lowest thing. I can't make it no lower than that. If, it, if I can make it lower than that, I would. Right. You know what I mean? But that I mean the lowest is five dollars, five dollars a month. And um we seeing right now we can uh get the thing uploaded on um on Apple, Apple sus uh, Apple, Apple subscriptions. So yes, sir. now I mean working on that too now. Now I mean so when that's done, we're gonna let you know when that's when that's up and running. And I think that one is what, $3.99? Yep. Yeah, that one's three ninety nine. I picked the lowest things because I want everybody to have access to it. Now, I didn't I didn't want to make it like no tier system and all that. I'm not coming at nobody that got tier systems and different tier systems and all that. So I just Man, I mean, whatever the lowest thing is, that's what, I mean, have it. So, so you know, I understand, I mean, money is a little tight, times is hard and all this and that. And I'm not really trying to give them no tier system and all that. You get this, that, nah, man. Now, I mean, $5 was the lowest thing on Patreon, so we just picked the $5. So, I mean, hopefully y'all um, support us in that, know what I mean? Me kind of like doing my... You know, doing my own podcast on the side, and know what I'm saying. Hopefully, y'all support me with that. So, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Patreon is active now. ISO versus the world. So, uh, hopefully, y'all uh, support us with with that, and that's where my and that's where my podcast is going to be for now on. Yep. So, and um, right back to what I was saying. I wanted to talk about this because I've been seeing this for the last couple of days. On an algorithm. Ebony K. Williams being pregnant. Mm. Right? Now, let me start off by saying, I like her. I like her. Okay, I feel you. I'm not one of the people, you know what I mean? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't have nothing against her. I actually like her. Right, I feel you. You know what I mean? Very, she's beautiful, she's intelligent. Some people say that she, you know, she say say that she's kind of stuck up, or they use the term bougie or bourgeois, whatever they want to. I like her, I do. I know people would feel like, well, 
she a, she's a black woman and she used to be in a relationship with a white man and okay right you can say that it's not like that's not a fact okay that's a fact but I actually like her so people are, but I I've been seeing that I guess I don't know if she announced it herself that she was pregnant but people found out that she's pregnant and she's expecting and they said that she got she's pregnant from a sperm donor yeah that she's pregnant from a sperm donor. Um, and everybody's, you know, everybody's trying to use the whole, well, ain't no no man wanted to deal with her long enough to get her pregnant and all that. I have no we I have no clue. You know what I mean? I have no clue for all I know she is. I can't necessarily say that. You know what I mean? I can't jump to conclusions. You know how people love to jump to conclusions. Yeah. Well, she had to go get a sperm donor because don't nobody want to deal with her. Who want to deal with a woman with an attitude like that? I don't even think she got an attitude. I think she just... A lot of niggas don't like to be challenged. That's, like, a lot yeah. of niggas get in a relationship and like to stay stagnant where they at. And she... Because you know, remember the, 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 the viral Breakfast Club interview? Yeah, I'm just saying with her and uh, Envy. When she was like... He was like, yeah, you took a lot of shots... At, uh, working people. She's like, no, I ain't take no shot at working people. She's just saying like, I just, I just want people to expand their mind and just understand that she don't have to be the worker. You know what I'm saying? She's like, if, if my man work at the bus company, let's figure out how we can own this motherfucker. Let don't just be settled with being the butt, the bus driver. You know what I'm saying? So I think a lot of men just don't want to be challenged, and you just, you just want to do shit and be comfortable, and she's just gonna be like be the best version of you. You know what I'm saying? So I think that's her. I, I fuck with her too. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I fuck with her too. I, I I fuck with her. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, um, yeah, a lot of people. Hey, you you right. A lot of, a lot of people don't want to be challenged because no. some people, some people aren't. Everybody don't have to be super duper like super duper ambitious and want to take over the world, but. Right. You gotta you gotta you gotta kind of move forward. And that's what some people don't understand that, cause, because we're taught. I mean, I mean, we're 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 alive at a time where society is going through like a transition. It's kind of like the whole, you know, I like the people call it back in the day the industrial revolution. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like that, but with the internet now. I got you. Yeah. No doubt. Whereas it is it is war. It is more ways to make money. True. Without you having to physically punch a clock. True. You know what I mean? We're going, we're in that transition. So it's some people that can like adapt to that and that interests them. And some people are just old fashioned. Like some people say, you can't teach an old dog new tricks. Some of these people just, all they know is I, I, I've been, I know how to get up and go to work for my money. You know what I mean? Punch a clock and that's all they're ever going to do or ever going to be. Right. And that, that's who they are. Some people just don't want to, some people just like they're too far along and like to adapt and, and change. And I feel like that may be affecting, that's going to affect some people's relationships. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And and some, like I said, some people are hooked up to the matrix. Even though you got all this information out of here, they're still plugged in. So when 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 people be like, Women want you to make this and make that. I un- understand that some of these women are delusional yeah. in what they want, but let's not get it twisted. You can do more and make more. You can. Especially with the internet. Right. You can. I know for a lot of people that some people are plugged in, not, not I mean by the matrix in life, and then some people their own family. Some people come from families where you get a job and you work. Right. And you pay and you just you just work to pay bills and you get by and then and then and, and that's your life. Some people, like I said, some people is products of their household, not just their environment, their household. So if you come from that blue collar, just go get a job and work. Now I mean work just to pay bills. And then if you try to do anything outside of that or try to move up more than that, it is looked at as they, it's not it's not understood and it's a bad move. Right. So, 
we are at a time where that is going to, I mean, it is, it is, it is like a revolution. It's kind of like an internet revolution. You know what I mean? Where it's like, you can make money without having to just punch a clock and work even more. You know what I mean? It's the whole like sweat equity. Like, 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 like people have to like actually physical labor. We are, we are in a time where that is changing. True. To whereas, like I said, you don't have to try to take over the whole world, but people can't tell me you can't bust. No, I mean, you can't bust a move here and there to make some more money, at least a few hundred dollars a month. You can do that. You got things like e-commerce. You know what I mean? Different things you can get into. You can yeah, yeah. You know what I mean, selling stuff online is big. Yeah. So the opportunities are there now. And what some people, I think some people are just so plugged in. Some people are so plugged in that they just don't, they can't see that or they don't see themselves being able to do that. You know what I mean? And, and that's, and, and I, I, think, I think part of that is genetically too because people just, like I said, some people just come from families where that's what they do. Yeah. Okay, get up and go to work, find a, you need to find a decent job. And you need to work that, and you'll work that for 40, 50 years, and then you'll do that, and then you'll spend 10 years off or 15 years off until 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 you pass away. And then and that's life. Yep. Some people think like that. Yep. So anything you try to do that's outside of you just traditionally just punching a clock. And if you try to do anything more, you look that as it's looked at as you wasting your time and wasting your money. Like it's people that when I said I wanted to be in real estate. People was telling me that I was going, I was, I was risking my money, mm. but, and I was going to throw my hard earned money away. Mm. But them are people who never did anything other than punch a clock. Same motherfuckers that probably got a drinking habit or some type of you, you, you got some type of vice because listen, you know what I'm saying? Listen, that you wasting paid, money yet? Listen, I spent, I spent twelve hundred dollars to go to school, right? To get um. They took they, they took a course about real estate to help you become like a realtor. Now right. I mean, you need like a certain amount of hours in like a real estate course to become like a realtor. It's like twelve hundred dollars. People was telling me that I was wasting my money, but mm. them the people that hit the liquor store every time they get right. paid. They same people Tru- that played a lot of though. Trust me, shit like that. Y'all probably spent double that or triple that this year on liquor and right. cigarettes. Right. What I spent to go to school. Right. Yeah, that's that. That's what killed me too. Yo, that that that's far fetched, and that'll never happen. Says a person who's been playing the lottery yeah. for the last thirty years. Right. Then 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 I tell you some shit like, yo, you gotta if you're not playing, you there's no chance you can win. You gotta play to try to win. All right, right. well that's why I did this because I'm trying to win over here, and nah. my odds is better than yours. Nah, that don't make no sense. You throwing your money away. Right. Fuck a person who a person who been playing the lottery. <laughs> Right. Who, who, who drinking, smoking, playing the lottery, and going to the casino the last thirty years of their life? Yeah, will tell you that you trying to are you trying to start a business? Are you trying to get a side hustle? Is a waste of time mm-hmm. and a waste of money. Yep. They'll they'll sit there. People will legit will sit there and tell it's people that look me in my face that say, "Yo, you you trying to get into real estate? You throwing you wasting your time and throwing your money away." Same person that every day playing the same lottery numbers, yeah, yeah. and got yeah. the same and had the same routine for decades. Yep. Going, I mean, going to the liquor store, we get paid, and throughout the week going to the bar, right, and spending money money on cigarettes every single day. Yeah, but will tell you that you throwing your money away. Motherfucker waste thousands on a lottery, but then be happy when you hit for a couple hundred. You waste thousands. Yeah, the but, number hit. Y'all yeah. hit for two hundred. Wait, thousands though. Fam, you've been playing the lottery since 1990. Right. Think about how much money you don't spend. Like, all right. <laughs> I'm saying it's crazy, See, yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just like it's just like the whole thing with the casino. People only remember the times that they won. Right. So you remember the two, three times that you won, but all the times that you lost. You lost way more than you won. Right. They'll tell you how much they won, though. You won 2500 But you've been going to the casino. 30 years. Right. How much have you lost? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Right. You don't know. Yeah. 
been losing money the last 30 years. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, I, I can see, I can see you, I can see you like understanding Kate Williams, because when I think about the, y'all like the same type of person, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, men, men, men now, you know what I mean? I'm talking about inner city men where we from. Motherfuckers want to, you want a chick that you don't have, you don't really got to do nothing. It's a low standard. You know what I mean? And women, some women from the inner city is like, they got the same way. You you want a motherfucker who already in a situation where, you know what I mean? He got to rely on you. You know what I mean? So it's like the same shit. And she a woman of standard. So now because, you know, because Emmy was like, yeah, you said you would never date a bus driver. That was the whole thing. And then she, even though she broke it down, like I never said that I would date a bus driver, but have ambitions on owning the on owning a motherfucking bus company. A lot of women and a lot of men, they don't want motherfuckers with standards. All, only, the only standard we want is when we fucking. Mm-hmm. When we fucking, you mm-hmm. it's, it's mm-hmm. bum motherfuckers with women, and you you gotta beg him when you gonna get a job. Yo, you know it ain't easy out here to get a. That's their standard. It's hard out here. Ain't nobody hiring. Niggas hiring everywhere. Mm-hmm. What are you talking about? You know what I'm saying? So yeah, man, like yeah, so I guess I can see because that's that's how that shit is both ways. Yes. Um Yeah, I like it cause she she signed she got a brain. And yeah. that's what some of y'all need. Right. Some of y'all, the reason why y'all frustrated right now is because you trying to do more in life and you're with a woman, you're with a woman who who is like Is like kind of like a hindrance to you, you know you care about her. Yeah. She's a hindrance to you. You fucking with Tasha from Goose. You I mean Tasha from Power. You trying to excel in life. This bitch some awesome stay here. Some yeah. shit like that. That's the modern day woman. She don't want you to excel in life. Oh yeah. You, that's you that's, that. that's that shit, dog. You, you fucking with Tasha from Ghost. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Tasha from Power. You like, yo, let's do this. No, why are we gonna do that when this always been working? Bitch, cause it's more to life than just that. You just happy, you know what I mean, making a couple of dollars and doing this. Ain't no 401k plan in this shit. Ain't no retirement plan in this shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We can't even put so much money in the bank doing this shit because they going to question, you nigga don't got no job. How the fuck you got all this money in the bank? Come on, man. Mm-hmm. And that's what I'm saying. Like, we, we as men, we say shit like, man, these women don't support motherfuckers. She a woman that's feminine telling you, like, let's do this, and I'm going to help you excel to do this. Oh, cuz. These bitches want a lot out of a nigga. Like, <laughs> me? But then when you got a motherfucking woman that's on her joint, she's talking about something, I don't need a man for nothing. That's crazy. These women talking about, don't. She telling you, I want a man, but I want my man to do this. We don't, we're not happy either way. So when you say this shit, we crazy. Yeah, as men, we crazy. We are crazy. We don't know what the fuck we want. I just want a bitch to show me, you just gonna let me pop every now and then. Mm-hmm. Then I'm gonna call you my girl, but I can't even stand you. We don't even know each other to, know, to like each other, but you my girl. Dumb shit like that. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's wild. Yeah, some of y'all, some of y'all are, are ghosts from power. Some of y'all are in, are in that situation yeah. where you trying to do more, and the people around you, right? They just, they just don't have the same ambition. They, 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 they don't, they don't have the same outlook on life. They don't think, they don't think that it, that goal, any of those goals are obtainable. Right. Cause that's how it was. Now, now I'm saying. Because Tasha, you know what I mean? Tasha was like that. And his right-hand man, Tommy, was like that. Right. Tommy, tell you in a second. No, this is all I'll ever, ever going to be. That's crazy. That sound like hopeless to me. Like, yeah. oh, you, you got you got all that know-how and willingness to do whatever you got to do to succeed here. But the second he got some legit business to do, he telling you, no, we going to do this. We going to open up more clubs and we going to get up out of this. You looking at him like, no. Nah. Right. No, this is this this is all I was ever good at. How would you know if you didn't try to do nothing else with your life? True. True. Right. How would you know this is the only thing that you was good at if you never did nothing else? Right. You saying this is the only thing that you good at in life, but you never try to do anything else. Right. And your right hand man is trying to tell you, no, we going no, we getting up out this shit. This is the plan. Now I mean we can start, we can get up out of this. Then right. we can do more. You looking at him like he nah man nah he ain't doing what? Yeah, cause he caught on right now. But Why then would you do that. Well, look at all the money we making right now. And then it's the crazy thing, man. We are gonna get into it, yeah. then, right? And then 
Tasha looking at him like, you going to leave me? Damn right, bitch. <laughs> I'm trying to I'm trying to elevate. Right. And you not. Yeah. So yeah. I got with a chick for one, I got I, mean, I got I, I got with a chick who think the same way. Yeah. Right. Right. So I can do some positive shit with and not be looking at me like I'm fucking wrong or I'm stupid for trying to do something positive. Backwards at your backwards chick, man. Yeah. Well, not backwards, but a product of her environment. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No doubt. No doubt. Even to the point where, you know what I mean, you separate from him and you start a legit business in, 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 with, with the daycare, but you bring the nonsense into there. And that's what she knows. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, like, come on, and man. Then, and then, yo, he probably, he probably realized that. And then what's crazy is, and it was crazy to go back, you know what I'm saying? And you go back to some episodes. Her own mother knew that Ghost was not going to stick with her. Right, right, right. Because she told her mom, she was like, you right. You said I wasn't going to be able to keep him. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yes. Because your mom said. Because I thought I told you all that on a Friday episode where I met a chick's mom. And a chick's mother yeah, told yeah, me, you that shit, yeah. yo, you too good for my daughter. That was wild. That was wild. You, yeah. you wasting time being right. with my daughter. Right. That's wild. You too good of a man. You are wasting your time with her. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? So, yeah, man, a lot of y'all dudes, y'all, y'all are ghosts right now. Yeah. You know what I mean? You trying to elevate, do more. Some of y'all might be in them streets trying to get out, and everybody else is just, nah, you crazy. Right. Now, I mean, we getting it right now. Yeah, you getting it right now. You try to think about the future. Right. You going to always be getting it. Ain't going to be nobody else coming trying to come and take our spot. Right. The cops ain't going to never be after us. Another dude ain't going to, somebody else ain't going to try to get us out the way. Right. Yeah, you worrying about it's good right now. No, we need to get out while it's still good. Yeah. So we can break away clean from this. And then everybody looked at Ghost like he was wrong. Yeah. People looked at Ghost like he was wrong. Right. Ghost the only person low. Ghost looking at everybody, yo, that shit probably drive me crazy too. Yeah. You know what's crazy? If you wanted to, bro, you could probably break down that whole series that that just encapsulate that shit into just life. Cause think about it. Yeah, you know I mean, Ghost did that shit. The young boy was so influenced by his mom, which we see that shit today. He went after her ambitions. He didn't see his dad as, yo, my dad elevated our life to this. Let me move on to what he talking about. You so influenced by your mother that you like what she talking about. I'm going to do that. I want to become the man that she wants in her life. That's what happens in real life. It's women out here yeah, that got right. sons and y'all creating right. it. You know what I mean? Y'all son into the she, man that she, she wants. She she turned him into a son husband. Yeah, that's exactly when it. Fucking ghost, when, when Ghost left her, she turned her son into a son husband. Yeah. Yeah. So now you gonna make the money so we can make so we can live good and all this. Right. Like, I'm gonna put that on you. Right. Yeah. Yo, that's crazy. Know what I'm saying? You well, right. No, you should yeah. not. No, no, you shouldn't be involved in none of that. Right. No, this motherfucker gonna leave me. So I need to replace. So the money that he was taking care of, I need, I need, I need to replace him. Right. So she replaced him with his son and turned him into a son husband. Yeah. That's some crazy shit. That's some crazy shit. Yeah, that, right. That's what happens. Right. Right. That's what happens in the hood. That's why all these dudes are selling drugs. Yeah. And some of them probably don't want to. Hell yeah. But if you go get a real job, they're going to say, that, that, that's what's crazy. People in your own family going to say, that money is too slow. We got bills to pay. Right. That money coming too slow. So go out there and risk your life and risk your freedom. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's what's happening. Hell yeah. You know what I mean? A lot of y'all, a lot of y'all are a lot of y'all are ghosts. And some of these young bulls out here is Tyreek. Yup. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? It wasn't a man that influenced him to go out there. No, it was a woman that influenced him to go out there. Right. I gotta step up and be the man of the house. Why? You still a kid. Right. See what I mean? Right. 
You know what I mean? You, 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 a lot of y'all is, na- is naming from the wire. Some of y'all, some of y'all don't want to be out there, don't need to be out there. But y'all, y'all, y'all product of y'all household. You know what I mean? Yeah. You supposed to be out there. Nah, you realize, nah. You don't need to be out there. The whole world is out there. Hell yeah. So, yeah, man, some of y'all, some of y'all is ghost from power right now. Right. Some of y'all is trying to bust moves and elevate and all this and that. And the people around you, even your woman looking at you like, now why you want to do that? Right. You know what I mean? Then your right hand man, he might think, man, this is all. See, I know people like that. Nah, man. This how I'm a, nah, the streets, this, oh, this all I know. This neighbor we grew up in this, yo, man, this all I know. Know what I mean? I ain't, I probably ain't gonna live much longer if, I mean, if I ain't gonna be in jail. And you know, I'm going out in a blaze of glory, man. Somebody gonna try to take me out. I'm taking them with me. Mm. I know people that really, really said, say that to you dead thing. If, yo, be, be dead serious. Mm. Yo, I'm not getting no job. I'm not trying to do nothing different in life. It is what it is. Mm. Dang. Now, I mean, what can you say? You know what I'm saying? What can you say? Now, I mean, now, I mean they're your friends, man. You just tell them, man, listen, man, good luck. Hopefully, they change their mind. Right. Other than that, what you going to do? Mm. But, you know, I know we went, we went all over the place, but these be the episodes y'all love. You know what yeah. I mean? Y'all say I love the most. We just be all over the place. But back to... um, 70. Yeah. I understand... I understand what she means. Even though I feel like a lot of people understand what she's saying. Yeah. We just gotta go, they gotta go against the grain, they gotta go against it because people need to make content. Right. You know what I mean? For the sake of making content, let's act like what she said was just so terrible. And the fact that she is pregnant and she is people are claiming saying that she's a single mother, which we have no clue. She could come out and say she engaged to be married tomorrow and wouldn't know. You know what I mean? Right. We don't know. But yeah, like you said, some women are want you to. Some some women aren't just cool with just getting fucked on. What else are you actually trying to do with yourself? You know what I mean. And um, cause yeah, man, some of y'all need a woman with a brain. Yeah. Some of y'all need a woman that could help you cross yeah. your t's, dot your eyes, got some ideas if you're trying to. You trying to start your trying to start a business, you trying to elevate, can bring something to the table mentally. Right. Or can tell you, well, do you think about doing this or doing that? Or you doing it, think about it like this, or you might need somebody that you trust that can help that can help you build. Right. Not 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 a chick that her whole her most important her top priority in life is getting a goddamn hair done. Because some of y'all are with women who are like that. Right. Same girl out here trying to figure out how to elevate, how to do, you know what I mean? How to do more, how to get more. And she a chick that's just sitting around, need to spend money on this, need to spend money on that. Her, her most important thing in life is what, I mean, what 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 clothes she wore today and when the next time she getting her hair done. Right. And y'all sitting, you know what I mean? And that's what's driving y'all crazy because some of y'all, she's not satisfying y'all mentally. And that's a problem too. So yeah, that is. Yeah. So with the whole Ebony K Williams thing, yeah, a lot of people jumping on her saying that yo she had to go to a sperm bank and all this and that. I mean, I can understand if she want to be. She has a biological clock, and if she want to be a mom, she can't. She can't wait around and wait forever. And like I said, she may. The guy she had around, she may felt like. You know, they may not be. They may not be up to par. Right. They may not want a relationship, and what she's supposed to do, sit around and wait forever. So, because that—that's what I'm trying to figure out. All right, if you, if 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 if, if she, I'm pretty sure she know men, cause it's not like see some unattractive woman. True. Pretty sure she know men, but she felt True. like the men that she had around now may not. They 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 may not want. They may not want to be. Who knows? They may not want to be fathers. They may not want to be now even be marriage. I mean, father or marriage material. Right. So, her go be so so so. What would y'all say if she did that? If she did go be with a guy and say I'm pregnant, and the guy is the bus driver, so I got pregnant by the bus driver. Right. You know what they be saying? Well, 
she had to go be the bus driver because she couldn't get nobody on her level because nobody want to deal with her. Right. I don't got to know something to say about her no matter what. Yeah. So at the end of the day, I'm putting, I mean, she seems like a capable woman. And like I said, I have no idea what her personal life is. She can jump and say she engaged me. She getting married. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Or she has somebody. You know what I mean? We don't know. So, yeah, I think a lot of that outrage is just, is just the, whole, the whole phony, you know, what are we fake caring about today? Yeah, pe- pe- people fake caring about this because they need content. You can tell, you know what I mean? Not many people need content. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't hold the same, like, I ain't going to say hatred, but like dislike that's something a lot of people saying they got for her, which I don't feel like a lot of that is real anyway. Like I said, a lot of that, I think it's just, it's just for the sake of content. We ain't got no content, and she popped up and said she pregnant, so we're going to talk about it. True. Like, come on, man. You know what I mean? So, you know, congratulations to her. You know what I mean? You never know. You know what I mean? She, 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 she might be a great mother. You know what I mean? She might be a great mother. I mean, some of y'all, some of y'all that the, the woman that y'all got kids with might be a terrible mother. Right. She might be a terrible mother. How many about how many of y'all just complain about the woman y'all have kids with? Right. So just because you quote unquote feel like she's by herself or she had to go get a a sperm donor, what does that mean that she can't be a good mom? I'm just saying you gotta think about that too. Like I said, most of that I just think is I'm, we just we just gotta have this for the sake of content. I think I probably don't even give a damn. Right. Oh, it, it popped up in algorithms. So let's talk about it because we need content. So, I, I might just want to speak on that because a lot of people was talking about that the last the last last three days. And um, yeah, I do feel like with women, I do understand that y'all date. A lot of y'all date on the same level as far as, like, financially. Like, they're on the same level as somebody, you know what I mean? As you want the guy to be on the same level as you or above. Right. But I get that. My thing is, as far as financially, please just don't think that because a person makes a little less than you, he's broke. Right. You know what I mean? Because I, I hear the word broke a lot. You talking about men that broke. You can't tell me that a person that makes six figures, $100,000 is broke. That man is not broke. Okay. You might be a lawyer or something like that. So you may make twenty, thirty thousand 30000 more. But the man's still making a hundred. So you make a hundred and you make 125. Is he broke? Right. You know I mean, that's the only issue I got with it. Act like if you make less than me, like, yeah, like say, yeah, like say I make 100, you make 120, 125. Does that mean that that man is broke? Right. So I just don't like that narrative of keep telling men broke. Now, everybody say the average, like I said, the, ar- the, the, the average is, they're already talking about like 50, uh, 50,000 or something like that. And some people making 40,000 out. Yes, we are in the time where we're on the time of transition. And some people are, are now awakening. Some people are waking up too late because now they owe them student loans and all that type oh, of stuff. Yeah. Student loans kick you back in. So now, so now, unfortunately, some of y'all got to deal with that. Because like I say, man, to, to a lot of y'all young dudes that... Y'all, 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 y'all graduated, but y'all necessarily may not want to go to um, college. But everybody looking at you like you need to go to college. No, you go and borrow fucking one hundred fifty thousand dollars, go get a damn job for that, make forty thousand or fifty thousand dollars. Right. That, like you said, you got to go on ten interviews to try to get one job, making making damn near nothing. Some of y'all will be better served going to becoming a general contractor. Take not, know what I mean? Go and learn how to do your uh your HVAC, know what I mean? Heat and ventilation, air conditioning, um, your electrician, your plumbers, learning that, know what I'm saying? So y'all can be become like, know what I mean, get getting the real estate, developing, building, construction. I'm telling y'all, man, that's that's where the money is at. You see all these houses that they building across America and all this stuff, stuff like that? 
People getting paid, man. You know what I'm saying? These, 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 these projects and these buildings that y'all see getting built and all that, they got general contractors, man, construction companies. That's where, that's where the money's at. The building and the maintaining. These buildings, these houses, that is where the money's at. So I know some of y'all sitting around in y'all family is putting pressure on y'all to just go. Just, just go to college. Just go. Right. You know what I mean? So you're going to borrow a bunch of money to come out and get a job that you ain't making down there no money. Whereas you come out here and get a skill like HVAC, learning how to heat and air ventilation, air conditioning and all that, and be making money from junk. You know what I mean? Your early 20s, you know what I'm saying? And they can grow into, you know what I mean? So now you're making money, you get into real, you get into construction, right. you start a construction company, you get into real estate, become a real estate investor. Man, listen, that's where the money is. These buildings have to be main, built up and maintained, repaired. Right. You know what I mean? The road work. When y'all be on the y'all be on the expressway and all that, and the highways and all, you see them construction companies, you know what I mean? Repairing the roads and all this and that, and building the goddamn expressways and the highways. That's where the money is at. That's where the money is at. Yeah, no, it's not glamorous. It's not no, it's not you being no goddamn rapper. Know what I'm saying? It's, it's not being just not no, it's not you being a rapper with a bunch of goddamn chains around your neck. No, it don't look like that. It's not flash, not flashy job. But you can be a millionaire in real estate. Hell yeah. So some of y'all, I know the pressure is on y'all. People are looking at y'all to go to school. Now I'm saying I know you took it somewhere else, but people need to hear this. To go to school, now I mean the pressure is on y'all. To go to school. Just because some of y'all parents is, is 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 still is still plugged up to the matrix. Yeah. You know what I mean? You're gonna borrow a world full of money and gonna be in a world full of debt your whole life, and then you're barely gonna be making anything. Right. That's why you be seeing people, you be seeing people online going crazy. You know what I mean? They ready to crack. They be like, yo, I'm not making, I'm only making this much money, and I've been filling out applications to go uh for, for other jobs, and I've been going to a bunch of interviews and nobody wants to hire me. Yeah, that's because. For one, a lot of them jobs, they already know that they're going to hire. A lot of them jobs hire internally. I learned that from, from somebody, a woman that I know worked in corporate America. So they'll post them jobs knowing damn well they're not going to hire nobody outside of the, uh, outside of the company for that right. job any damn way. So a lot of y'all just going on goddamn interviews for the... It's, it's kind of like the whole Rooney rule of the NFL. People just be, be interviewing people knowing this, knowing, knowing, already knowing who, who, who going to get the job any damn way. So I'm sorry a lot of y'all got to go through that. But um, damn, back to what we were saying, man. Um, yeah, a lot of y'all is is is, is goes from power right now. A lot of y'all minutes goes from power, and a lot of y'all are Tommy from power. Yeah, yeah. A lot of y'all can't see that it's it's a whole the whole world is out there. Right. Cause a lot of y'all is stuck with y'all neighborhood mentality. Niggas is comfortable. Know what I mean? I mean, I don't know how the hell every goddamn day you watching your damn back, don't know who the hell the cops gonna jump out and arrest you or somebody gonna start shooting at your ass. I don't know how that's comfortable for some of y'all. Because some though. of y'all that is. I'm the man out here though. You know what I mean? I'm respected. Mm. These motherfuckers know me. You know what I'm saying? That we, 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 fight, we fight for the wrong shit. We fight for notoriety. You know what I'm saying? And you just, you, you, you blink at this shit like now I'm doing this to feed my family. No, it's for notoriety. Because there's a motherfucking millionaire that you walk past in Center City, you don't even know who the fuck he is. He don't care about you knowing who he is. You know what I'm saying? He owns some big ass skyscraper. You didn't walk past him. You know what I'm saying? No Louis Belt, no Louis Belt, nothing on. He just cool because he got money in the bank and shit. We do shit for notoriety. Big ass chains. Gotta have, you know what I'm saying, the latest shit on. You can't just have some latest shit on, some Louis shit that don't nobody know is Louis. No, I need Louis with the, with the fucking, the logo on it so they know my shit Louis. That's what we do. We fight for notoriety. Mm. That's why we fight for blocks that ain't ours. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know what I mean? And motherfuckers get comfortable like that. And women, you know what I'm saying, that's comfortable in those situations, those demands that they, that they go for. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and then the problem with the problem with that is, okay. Sadly, a lot of them men, they in an early grave. True. Are they in jail? Yeah. So now the woman is left 
and now the woman is older. But the woman still like the same type of guy. Right. So how you 40, still liking the same type of guy you liked when you were 16. So where's that guy going to be at at 40? But you got to think about it, though, like like we said before. So she trained her son up in the way that she know. Because why, why is that not an ending process? Like, we watched a million motherfucking drug movies. We seen we we know a hundred drug dealers and never seen no progress past the corner. How many motherfuckers seen progress past the corner where the, these motherfuckers really became big meat or that like that now? But the process still continue. Mm. There's never going to be a shortage of drug dealers. Mm-hmm. It's never going to stop. You know what I'm saying? The same, you know I mean... The motherfuckers that get mad at this shit is the motherfuckers that's, re, re, you know I mean, re, duplicating it. It is what it is. It's always gonna be. It's always gonna be a woman that's gonna fall in love with him because of the false sense of power that you think he got. Yo, he known in the neighborhood. Everybody respects such and such. She fall for that type of shit. Yeah, you know I mean. So now when you have a child, a boy, you raise him up in the way that you know. That's what he do, and so forth and so on. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you know what I mean? The woman might have, like you said, the woman might have lost her. You might have lost your, your mate to, to fucking violence. So you lost the loved one due to that shit, but you raised your son up in the same exact thing that you lost somebody in. That's what I'm saying. Like, why do this shit never stop? We don't, we, and, the, and, the, and the weird thing about it, like you said, you, you've been in real estate, so you know real money. Because we think that, yo, I'm selling drugs. This is, that shit ain't real money. A nigga in real estate will laugh at you if you bring him to that shit. How much you got, man? Yo, 10000 fuck you gonna do with that? That's not real money. LeBron James will laugh. If he had your money, he'll jump out the window and slit his neck on the way down. Ain't no real money. We think that shit is real money, though. This is real money, but you can't get out the hood. This is real money. You can't. You ain't got, like, no foreign or nothing like that shit. In. This is real money to you, though. But you can't live comfortable with it. Real money can't even protect you. So yeah, we blinded by the effect of this, of the shit that we see around us. Yeah, we fucked up. I was gonna ask you this though, because I was thinking when we talk about K Michelle and you know how we talk about Vivica A. Fox, what is the, what is the differences in that? Because you know Vivica A. Fox, I was trying to think about it in my head. I, I was trying to think like the difference in that for me might have been the conversation. You know what I mean? Uh, Ebony K. Williams was the woman who said that she wants a mate and wants to elevate a mate. A lot of Vivica A. Fox, when she was talking, she was like, yo, I did this and I did that and I did this and I did this. Now I'm just ready to settle for anybody. You know what I'm saying? So I was thinking in my head while you were talking, like, what is the difference in the two? Because I fuck with Ebony K. Williams too. You know what I'm saying? And I was I was, I was, was trying to decipher that shit as you was talking and I, I couldn't figure it out. That's why I wanted to ask you, what is the difference between the two? Between, between Ebony K. Williams. Because, all right, because when we talk about Vivica Fox, rightfully so, you know what I'm saying? For you to say, yo, I'm available now, I'm going to open my door. All the men that I turned down years ago, y'all can come on and reapply, you know what I'm saying? And we can, we can try to work this out. And now with Ebony K. Williams being a, a, a woman in her 40s, you know what I'm saying? Like, we like, oh, that's cool, you can do that. You know I mean, so what is the, what is the separation? That we accept one, but the other, we just like, yo, that's kind of crazy. I mean, I don't know about them. I mean, I accept, I oh, accept, accept both of them because, oh, you accept both of them? yeah, because, like, well, maybe it's just me because I don't accept that Vivica A. Fox shit. <laughs> yeah, like I, said, <laughs> like I said, she's not the only person that's going to be looking for love when they older. Yeah, a lot of these women are. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of these women are going to be looking for love when they are older. They are going to get to that age and they are going to be around the time where they don't work their whole life and they are coming to like retirement age because let's not, not I mean Vilka A. Fox was a celebrity. You know I mean, she was a movie, she was an actress. Mm-hmm. So a lot of these women that were just are just everyday working people are only spending a lot of their time working and then they're going to want to spend some time right after they get older. Mm-hmm. All this Hot girl summer, mm-hmm. dropping it hot like we Meg and them, is going to eventually go on. I mean, time time goes on. These True. people, these people get older. True. You're going to want to spend a lot of people want to spend time with somebody. All that, all that, 
I'm happy being alone and I'm doing this and doing that. Yeah, you saying that now because you have you feel like you still have the option. Right. You have the option that if if you are lonely, you could text somebody, somebody and there's a dude that'll come running, running and bend your ass over. Right. So so it's easy to say you want to be alone when you know you don't have to be alone right now. Cause you got a lot of women that say that. That's because they know they got somebody people on the back burner. Now, I mean, these dudes that's hitting me up, telling me good morning and all that, princess, goddess, mother of the earth. Right. I can't any one of these dudes up if I'm lonely. And they'll, and they'll come run, they'll drop whatever they want to do to come and drop, drop and just come running. But it's going to be a time when you seriously, not I me mean, talking about women like her where she don't want to be with just anybody because she doesn't, she, she did not live like a regular everyday, everyday working person. True. She lived above that financially. Right. You know what I mean? So that's her thing is that's still in her head where what's regular to me is would be above average to most other people. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? So now that's her thing, which I understand she want, she looking for somebody too. Like I said, I hope, I hope that she find it and find some type of happiness. You don't want to spend your, you know what I mean? The last few decades of your life or whatever going on, spend it by yourself. You want to find somebody to share that with? Hopefully you find somebody to share that time time with you with. Y'all can enjoy each other's company. You know what I mean? People just want them to just, I don't know, some people just, we we got to get, some some of these guys is overdoing, like I said, it's just, a lot of it's for the sake of content, but other people consuming this content and just feeling like, I don't want y'all to hate women. Especially some of y'all younger guys out there that ain't even off the porch yet that's still young. I don't want y'all to hate women. Right. But some of these dudes sound like they hate women. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with you on that. And like, that's a win for you. Yeah. She going, die alone. Yeah. Know what I mean? Long live Kevin Samuels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, like, no, we not not here to hate women. Right. You right, you right. Know what I mean? So... You need to try to get enlightened about them so y'all not sitting running around out here getting played y'all whole life and playing y'all self. Got some type of knowledge about what's going on out here. You know what I mean? Not just running around here blind. But don't get it twisted. We I, I don't I don't I don't I don't want y'all to hate women. You know what I mean? And that don't mean that I'm I, I might be viewed by some as like some type of enemy of what they call like the red pill community or whatever. Mm-hmm. It's not enemy of it, but like I said before, now I mean when we did, did the episodes, some of y'all doing it just to get a check from YouTube. True. So y'all just making all this content. But the thing is, yeah, you may you may not even believe the content. You just making it to get a check. It's somebody else who, especially the younger guys, that's holding on to that and believing it. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Now, some people going to say, well, she was talking crazy when Kevin Samuels passed away. Yeah, she was wrong for that. She was wrong for that. But we can't wish for our women to to die lonely and all that and body so because, remember, there's going to be women in your family that's going to get older. Are you hoping that they die alone? Are you hoping that they never find nobody? Right. They spend decades of their life buying the last few decades of their life being by themselves. You know what I mean? And then what about you? What about you when you get older? You're not going to want to have somebody to spend spend time with when you're older. Not now when you can run, jump up and you're worried about going to the club and you're out here talking to a thousand different girls. No, when you're older, when you're older, you're considered a senior citizen. You're not going to want to sit out and life slow down for you. you you're not going to want to have somebody. It's not going to be nice to have somebody to spend some time with. You know what I mean? So I understand people felt like, well, she always had, she had that attitude, had that attitude her whole life. You know what I mean? Every time you put a microphone in her face, act like she didn't need somebody. Yeah, a lot of women fell for that nonsense. Act like they didn't need nobody. So now, unfortunately for her, she might not learn that lesson since she was older. But then that might have been the wrong way to go. Like I said, she probably was. I'm pretty. I'm. I'm pretty sure she had first pick amongst men. 
But now she kind of got to deal with whatever the, wherever she at right now in life. This, you know what I mean? This is what she got to do and this is what she got to She made her bed. She got to lay in it. Right. I, ain't, I, I don't want y'all to be the whole, she going, you going to die alone. Motherfucker, you going to die alone. You know what I mean? You don't get yourself together. You're going to die alone. I can't be worried death about that. I'm trying. You know what I mean? I self-improving all that now, so I could try. I could find somebody. Right. You know what I mean? So I'm not going to sit around there like, yo, like someone else's loss is your win. People act like that, though. Thinking somebody else's loss is their win. Yeah, that's well, Eric Hay Williams got a sperm donor. So you thinking that, for one, you, you already thinking like that's a loss for her. Is a win for you? Right. That doing for your goddamn life. Right. Like I said, a lot of it is just for content. I get it. It's for content. But, yeah, the difference between that, that between Vic A. Fox is, I don't think, I don't think that Ebony K. Williams through her accomplishments up in her face and up in her, up in everybody's face to say, I don't need a man. No, I'm pretty sure she always wants a man, but she's not just taking any old man. And there's nothing wrong with that because if she was your sister, she was your auntie, or she was your mom, you would be agreeing with it. True. That she has a she has accomplished things in life to where she wants to be with somebody who's accomplished or ambitious. True. She does not want to be. She not. She does not want to be with a man that's that's stagnant. And for real, for real, a lot of y'all, a lot of these women that y'all are here with, do not want a man that's stagnant. No, you don't got to take over the world, but you cannot be stagnant. Some of y'all are stagnant, and that's why some of y'all going to get left. Y'all are making no forward progress in life. Y'all not. Yeah, but the same content that you're talking about with the. The, the men versus women is the same content that tell men, you know what I'm saying, that 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 it push a narrative for men not to, you know what I mean, try to push through certain shit. You know what I mean? Like certain content, like, men, y'all you're, you're struggling, you know what I mean, you take a mental health. And I'm not saying don't take a mental health day if you're going through some shit. But it, it sounds as though <laughs> you struggles of the world going to attack you no matter what you're doing. You gotta just, you know what I mean? We 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 older, so we from that lace your bootstrap shit up and just keep moving. A lot of that shit now is like, you know what I mean? I work with a lot of these young boys and they be like, nah, man, I'm about to just call out for the week because I'm going through a lot of shit. I'm like, so what is calling out for the week going to, how is that going to fucking help you through so, some shit? So how's it going to help you when your next check is short? But, but that's but that's how they be though. So if your problems, so your some some of your problems is you don't make enough money, right? Your money's short. Right. So how's you not coming to work for a week and your check being short gonna help you? You can't tell them nothing. Yeah, you can. So, yeah, man, I just I don't know, man. I need a few days away from this job. Yeah, that's well, how that shit Well, if you gonna call, be. you gonna call out, call out one day to bring your ass back to work. What you mean? Oh, yeah, I need more than that. No, you need more than that to pay your bills. Right. Yeah. So if you're just going not not, not I mean so 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 if you need a day, you need a you need a break from this, I see you calling up for a day. Don't go missing. Right. A lot of motherfuckers do. Because because your bill's not gonna go missing. No. Yeah. Your bill's not gonna go missing. So how are you gonna go missing? You understand what I'm saying? So yeah, now I mean you need, yeah, I understand that people, some people get depressed. Yeah. You know what I mean? All of that. Not, yeah, 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 yeah. Mentally, you need, now I mean, you need, need a break sometimes. Mentally, you need a break physically. That's cool. Don't forget that you gotta think ahead. People just thinking it now. I don't wanna be here now, so I just, man, I just, man, I just like didn't come in. Motherfuckers looking for you and shit, then, then the same people, yo, I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get back in here, OG, put a good word in. You disappeared on them, dog. Right. You disappeared on them. Now you fucking realize you can't pay your goddamn rent and your bills. Right. Now, now you want a job to bring you back. Yo, you can't just go like a fucking 
two weeks to just disappear on them and don't say nothing and nobody know where you at? Pe- and people and people call on your phone every day? Yeah. You can't do that. Then you realize you can't pay your bills, you need your job back. Yo, yeah. you can't you can't you can't you can't make this shit up. <laughs> yeah. Some of the stuff people do. Then now it's the whole um what they call that? Soft guy era. What the fuck that bullshit is? Duh. We don't do that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The content, the content is kind of fucking up the the, the, the mill the mill psyche. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because it's yeah, because when I was yeah, the, 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 this this whole soft guy era bullshit. Yeah, no. There, there's no such thing. You know what I mean? Fuck all that shit. There's no such thing. What you want is, you are a man, you have to do man shit. Yeah. You have to. Yes. Do you, are you going to get depressed sometimes? Are you going to be sad sometimes? Are you, I mean, mentally, it's going to be rough on you? Yes. Yeah. You're trying to deal with women. Yeah, you don't want to, you want to cut through the board. It's, it's, it's always going to be some, it's always going to be some BS with women. There's always going to be some. You're just trying to cut through so it's not a whole lot. Right. Right. As soon as we record, it want to be a goddamn train. Yeah, that train longer than a motherfucker, too. You know what I mean? Yeah. God damn. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like, um, yeah. Yeah, but that whole goddamn soft guy era shit, you know what I'm saying? Y'all saying that the woman is not doing nothing for you, bro. You got to you gotta get... You, you, you gotta, you have to build as a man. You gotta self improve as a man. True. You try to make full progress in life. True. Now I'm saying you just trying to cut through the nonsense when you when you dealing with women. So it's it's just not so much nonsense. It's always it's, it's always gonna be some type of nonsense that you have to go through some with a woman. It's not, you know what I mean? It ain't. As a man, you're not escaping that. But all that soft guy era stuff that y'all talking and all that, and all this goddamn you going Dutch. I ain't I ain't heard man. Going, going Dutch went out of style like the generations, because like, men, like the generation before us. That kind of went out of we style. Now with men that if there's no benefit in it for me, I don't want to do it. That's why you said men talking about some ain't no benefit in me getting married, so I don't want to do that. When we came up as men, we was known to be protectors and providers. That's what you were supposed to do. There's a lot of shit as men that you just don't get the benefit of. It's just what you're supposed to fucking do. Now everything is, this don't benefit me as a man, so I don't want to do it. This don't benefit me as a man. It's going to be a lot of shit in life that just don't benefit you as a man. But that's just who you are, and that's just who you, what you have to do. Now, that's what I'm saying. The shit, the, 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 the content is fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Men, what you, what, what you bring to the table as a woman? Why is, that a, why is that a necessity? You know what I'm saying? Hey, I ain't going to get married because as a man, there's no benefit in me getting married. I mean, mm. yeah, the content whole, is fucking yeah. us up. What does it benefit you? You having a family, if you want a family. Right. You having children, you having a woman. No, but you know, motherfuckers yeah, always go to the worst. It's, you have a woman that cares lose, about if, you. If she, if she divorced me, she get half my shit, she get half of this. Your mind goes to the worst. Yeah, you know but, what I'm saying? Yeah, because you have people out there who... A lot of them, when they talk about what happened to them, now some people, like I said, I've had a lot of, I've had a lot of, of conversations with people that are married, were married, going through divorces right now. They go through counseling, John, me trying to save their divorce. I've had, I've had a lot of conversations with people like that. Yes, some of these, some of these guys' stories is like, damn, that's messed up. Right. This woman did a whole complete 180 on you. Know what I mean? So so that I can understand if out of nowhere the woman just switch up and change on you. And you don't even know why or what. Some of it is y'all can't be goddamn dogs and fucking everything that's moving. Right. And then say, yo, she just left me, man. And then, you know, she down at the family court. They're getting the child support. Listen. Okay, okay, my man. 
So what? You was out here with your face between a whole other woman's legs and came home and kissed her. That don't matter, yo. Right. Why she why she leaving you and taking the kids, bro? That's that's fucked up. Yep. I wish you wouldn't put your mouth on somebody else and coming out and kiss me. Slap your head off your shoulders. <laughs> yeah. And I do, yeah. I know people that some of the stuff like, yeah, it it make it makes sense why you getting left. Right. Right. I can't even, yeah. Okay, you telling me, and I can understand why you getting left. I understand it. Then there's some people I'm like, yeah, that's damn that 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 kind of sound messed up. But yeah, can now anything is the worst. How does it benefit the man? Because if you're a man that wants a goddamn family, right. And you want to take care of them and feel like you, you know what I mean? That's something you accomplish as a man. That's why you, as a man, you feel good when everybody is happy, everything is okay, everybody is all right. You know what I mean? Right. That's why you get a sense of satisfaction when, even though in life you're spending more money than everybody else and you're spending on yourself. That doesn't bother you. Right. That's why you care about other people more than you care about yourself. That's how God made it. Now I understand some of y'all was raised up. I'm not going I'm not gonna blame women, but y'all y'all was raised up without a lot of men around, so some of y'all have more I don't know, traits are like women. When you True. think it's all about you, how does that benefit me? You having a family because you want a family. Right. If, if you want a family, that's what benefits you. You're getting something that you want. If you want a family, if you want a wife and kids, that's how it benefits you. Right. You feel like you, I mean, you, you, you have that goal accomplished if that's the goal that you want. People are saying that like, Yeah, how does that benefit me? You want a damn family now. Now, if you don't want no family, you doing. It, I can understand you saying that. But if you want a family, what the hell are you talking about? Yeah, you have to pay the cost to be the boss. People forget that with all this new school stuff going on, that's never going to change. You want to be the king of your castle? You want that woman to respect you, your family? You want to be the head of that household? You have to be the pay the cost to be the boss. People want something for nothing. True, yeah. yeah. I want to be the man and be and, 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 and be respected. I want you to submit to me. Right. Okay. So now you want to submit to you what you do all day. Play video games. Right. Find a job education? No. Yeah. Right. You gotta pay the cost to be the boss. Play video games all day. Yeah, you know I mean, yeah. That's what I do. Yeah, and um, I got an episode that I recorded. Like I said, man, um, we finally got the Patreon up and running. So, um, I do have an episode. I I, I did I did, I did an episode with Nikki. In one of the episodes, he was talking about the whole submission, and, and being and being being submissive. And she said something that makes perfect sense, like. It's hard to submit to somebody when you know that they ain't got no game plan and they ain't going nowhere. Yeah. What are you submitting to? Use a motherfucking roller coaster ride. Come on, man. Stop that shit. You see what I'm saying? And that made sense when she said that. Yeah. So a lot of that, a lot of y'all asking for stuff that y'all don't, y'all didn't earn. Man, I'm pretty sure you dated a lot of women. Shit just natural. Motherfucker, you probably dated a woman that before you dated them. Yeah, you know I mean they had like a hard exterior. But when they get with you, you know what I'm saying? They they soften up. Women do that shit for motherfuckers that they comfortable with. Motherfuckers, yo, these women out here hard now. Because you not putting her in a position where she can fucking be soft. If you with her, you know what I mean? Y'all going out, you don't got no money in your pocket, you don't got no you don't even know what the fuck you wanna do. Never make up a decision that she always um, gotta be that. Because yeah, because when you when you when you deal with some women, you, they 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 are really used to men who, for one, the main thing they don't know how to prioritize. True facts. You I have agree with you. yeah. 
you have men that still operate like they kids. Yeah, like, definitely. Like they spend money on all the stuff they want, and they worry about their bills and responsibilities last. Right. Like I know grown men who operate like that. Right. Grown men. Gotta have the latest and shit. These niggas that have brand new clothes on, ain't paid their car note, <laughs> ain't, pay, ain't paid their mortgage, ain't got their money for the bills, and then will say the woman is tripping. <laughs> so you telling me, so, so you telling me you bought, you bought Jordans, right. but you ain't pay your electric bill. <laughs> Talking about she ain't tripping about the electric bill. Nigga, I just seen you with Jordans on yesterday. <laughs> so that's so listen, that right there, we gotta start at square one. We gotta get the men back well, prioritizing. <laughs> we do not know how to prioritize. Yeah, you don't. You so used to putting the importance into that though. You know what I'm saying? Your importance went into that. So now that's all you know. Some men, that's all they know. Know what I'm saying? Yeah, I got I got that shit on. I got this shit on. <laughs> they about to fucking repo your car. Right, right. But you got that shit on though, so don't worry about it. You got a thousand dollar pair of jeans on. You could have could have paid your car note, dog. Right. For a couple months. You bought one pair of jeans? That is a long That was your car train. note. But yeah. <laughs> that train yeah. still going? Oh, you don't hear that shit? Damn. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so, yeah, but yeah, you right they though, dog. They doing what they gotta do to stop us, yeah, man. They doing whatever they gotta do. That's my man. <laughs> running front of trains. You gonna, you gonna, we gonna fucking run the trains past the past his house. Fucking eight hour long. You know what I mean? <laughs> God damn. Yo, as you would say, some motherfuckers can't eat when they hungry. Dog. Right. <laughs> right. Oh, they got that shit on though. They got that shit on, but they had the goddamn. They had that damn restaurant breaking the bill down talking about I only had this. This is all I had. Motherfucker, you got a you fuck you got a fucking three thousand dollar outfit on. Dog. Oh my god. You got a thousand dollar pair of shoes, a thousand dollar pair of jeans, a fucking eight hundred dollar shirt. What are you talking about? No, who had the crab cakes? Cause I ain't had the crab cakes. <laughs> Y'all trying to put that on me. I didn't have a crab cake. I look, no, this is what I, no. this is what I ate right here. Right. Oh my god! Motherfucker got exactly that. Don't he got money for the tip? There you go. It's my it's my portion right here. <laughs> Yo, that's wild, man. Anyway, man. Yeah, man. We um pretty much gonna be done with this joint. Now, yeah. I mean, this is part three. Yeah, man, this joint's all over the place. Like I said, man, these joints y'all see, y'all love the most, man. But yeah, I, yeah, we just didn't want to make it just. Y'all just crazy, man. All y'all crazy. Yeah. Like no I doubt. said, man, um, is is men dealing with some women who who are a detriment to them and and, and, and a hindrance to them? And there were some of y'all women is men who are that. Yeah. Know what I'm saying? That that, that that's a detriment trying to slow y'all down and just a hindrance, man. Right. So I know when, when you're dealing with people, you're dealing with emotions. Everything is not just a clear-cut business decision when it comes to that because you care about people. You got emotions for people. You know what I mean? But some of y'all, y'all going, y'all, y'all got some hard choices to make. Right. Because sometimes the person who slowing y'all down the most and holding y'all up the most is the person that you're right next to that you might care about the most. The person who's slowing you down the most is the person that you might care about the most. So some of y'all got some hard choices, and man, some of y'all motherfuckers are just crazy, man. Some of y'all motherfuckers are crazy. Some some I be hearing, I be like, listen, I can't, I can't deal with that. You're not. I, I, you be watching them videos of a chick come by, come by do house, come by. First of all, don't come by my mother house talking, doing all this crazy That's nonsense. Wild. You know what I'm saying? I, them, them type videos be crazy to me. That's wild. Then getting a the guy running, getting in the car, and come back and just run everybody over. Right. You don't think that you're going to jail for that? Like, are, 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 y'all, are y'all thinking when y'all do some of the stuff that y'all do? No. Love is a crazy emotion. You know what I mean? Hey, you going through some shit like that. It's a crazy emotion. You're telling you, you're telling... 
know what I mean? You, you, you're trying to run people over. Right. You're tearing your own car up trying to run hit, hit, hit people and run people over. Right. You tear other cars up on the block. Yo, all right. Right. Then, then be the same woman and shit. Like, where your car at? Man, this motherfucker made me tear my shit up. He <laughs> made you do that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Fucking with this motherfucker made me tear my shit up. What? Okay. Yeah, dog. That's wild, dog. You know what I mean? We be talking about come get you out of jail. Ain't nobody bailing you the hell about no goddamn no, jail. You try you try, you try to run my mother over. Yeah. You try to run my mother and my sister the hell over. Nobody trying to fucking get your ass out of no damn jail. You trying to talk the hell through the phone like, Mom, I'm sorry. I love you, Mom. I would never. You know how your son is. First off, don't call my mom, mom. All right. <laughs> Yo, like, All right. Yeah, like, first off. We ain't married. Don't call my mom mom. Don't right. do that shit. Right. Uh, yeah, I might want to hear that shit. My mom, my mom in here on the oxygen because she's running the dodges so you don't run her over. That's the most she ever moved in years. Had her out here running and cutting like Barry Sanders. Well, my mom, ain't let's get my mom on hooked up to the oxygen. Yo, them videos be wild, yo. Yeah, the fucking tank with the mask on the face. Right. <laughs> Sitting in the back. Sitting in the back on the stretcher. <laughs> I mean. Oh, yo, them videos yo. be crazy, yo. Oh, my goodness, yo. Yo, that's wild. You know what I'm saying? She probably be mad like, yeah, you got to go. You gonna, I don't believe you're going to press charges on me. Right. You're going to have me locked up. Bitch, you try to hit me? You got my mom's in the mic? You're right. <laughs> hey. <laughs> my sister had her kids out here. Nah, bitch. We not. Nah, bitch. No. Yeah, Let right. ass stay in there. Oh, man. Let ass stay in there. Yo. Fucking fam. Oh. Family come calling me and shit. Nah, we ain't helping. We ain't, we ain't helping with no bell. Nah. Helping with none of that. I don't even know why the hell you called us talking about some help with the bell money. It ain't happening. Fuck out of here. People out there, they mind. <laughs> he mad that it's a bell. The judge gave a bell. Right. Bell. Fuck. <laughs> what happened with the bell money? Yeah, I thought it was going to be no bell type of shit she into. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, man. But shit, no doubt, man. You know what I'm saying? You ready to wrap this shirt up, man? Yeah, man. Um, yeah, man. Now, I mean, we pretty much done with this one. Thank y'all. Like I said, man, thank y'all for the for the love and support y'all been giving me, man. And like I said, the Patreon, we finally got the Patreon up and running. Yes, Patreon, ISO versus the world. So please go and support me on that because that's going to be where my podcast is at. It's going to be on Patreon. Now, I mean, like I said, um, it's $5 because $5 was the lowest. Now, I mean, I couldn't get it no lower than that. So $5. And um and just, just man, just thank y'all, man, for all the for all the love and support we've been getting, man. Please like, rate, review, share, subscribe. Um, shout to add not, not many people that's that's that, that that's a part of what we do, man. My brother Woods, um, my youngest brother LB, you know what I mean? You know what I mean, he trying to trying to come into the fold, you know what I mean? So so you might be seeing him. Um Ebony, you know what I'm saying? Um, I got, I got I got a chance to talk to her, so we're gonna start talking to her and recording some episodes of her, you know what I'm saying? So so she she in good spirits. So you now we love her, miss her, and I got a chance to talk to her. We're gonna be talking to her, recording episodes. Shout out to uh, my home homegirl Nikki, you know what I mean? She come through show love, you know what I mean? We did some episodes with her. I'm looking forward to doing more episodes with her in the future, you know what I mean? She down for that. And um, some other people I know, you know what I mean? It's gonna be some other people I know I can get to, to come in and do some episodes too, so y'all can get like Different perspectives, especially now we got a lot of women that listen to us. So I'll be wanting to get a get a get a female point of view, a female perspective. Now we got a lot going on, man. We gonna have it. Now I mean, we gonna start doing a lot of stuff now. Now I mean, we gonna we gonna really really really, really like really like take this podcast to the next level. Now I mean, I'm very excited about the things that we uh we we, we starting to get the ball rolling on now. So just thank y'all for the love and support. I will be trying to now I mean starting to engage with y'all more. 
on like YouTube and stuff like that, because we are starting to be able to see the comments. I mean, Ernie been working on that. So I'll be able to see some of the comments now. Before they weren't letting us see damn near no comments and none of that. So I will be, you know I mean, engaging with y'all. You know what I mean? My joint is um ISO since 2022. So if y'all see that in there, you know, y'all got to be like, yo, is that the real ISO? Yeah, it's the real ISO. I can still, you know I mean, I can, I, I'm starting to see, be able to see more and more of the comments. So that's what I, you know what I mean. So I might be, able to, you know I mean, engage with y'all and I'm going to go back and forth with y'all. So I'm always wanting to do that. So I'm here to do that. But, you know, other than that, man, I mean, we out of here, man. Appreciate y'all, man. That's all I can say, man. Thank y'all. Thank y'all very much for all the success. Hey, you said what he said and it is what it is, y'all. Peace.